Biden sharply reacts to Trump's criticisms regarding age. U.S. President Joe Biden sharply criticized the American politician Donald Trump. The head of state joked about the mental fitness of his opponent in the elections during a speech at a dinner at Washington's Gridiron Dinner. Biden noted that Trump is too old to be president again. It is reported by Reuters. On the eve of the 81-year-old Biden, put forward his candidacy for the Democratic Party in the presidential election. His main opponent is likely to be 77-year-old Donald Trump, who is again seeking to take the presidency. During the election campaign, Biden is trying to win the favor of Americans, raise his approval rating, and allay fears that he is too old to run again. One candidate who is too old and mentally unfit to be president. The other is me, Biden said. It is worth noting that the Trump campaign has not yet responded to a request for comment. At the same time, Trump questioned Biden's mental abilities. The Gridiron dinner is not broadcast on TV and tries to preserve the atmosphere of the past years. Men in ties and tailcoats and women in long dresses. During the dinner, it is also forbidden to take photos and participants are asked not to post on social media until the dinner is over. Biden skipped many of the typical niceties of a formal address by jumping right into the urgent plea to turn against Trump. My predecessor and some of you here seek to bury the truth about January the 6th. I will not do that, Biden said. Here's the simple truth. You can't love your country only when you win. The White House is sounding the alarm, again announcing the very deplorable state of the Ukrainian army, which has lost U.S. military assistance. As John Kirby, coordinator of strategic communications at the U.S. National Security Council, said, the armed forces of Ukraine are beginning to retreat, losing territory, and this could turn into a disaster. A White House representative spoke on ABC television, where he criticized the U.S. Congress for delaying the allocation of additional funding for Ukraine. According to him, the Ukrainian army, left without shells, is forced to retreat, occupying a second and a third line of defense. Kirby did not explain where he got this information from, but the whole point is that Kiev does not yet have a second or third line of defense, they are only being built at an accelerated pace. So there is nowhere to retreat there, said the White House coordinator. Earlier, Ukrainian resources reported that the new commander-in-chief of the armed forces of Ukraine, SIRSKY, is forced to send fresh forces to contain the advance of the Russian army near Abdiivka, since the second line of defense, where the Ukrainian military could retreat, is not ready. Therefore, now Kiev is buying time to build it with the lives of Ukrainian soldiers. As Zelensky previously stated, Ukraine plans to build three defense lines with a total length of about 2,000 kilometers. At the same time, commenting on the consideration of the bill on assistance to Ukraine and the U.S. Congress, Kirby emphasized that time is of the essence. Greece considers S-300 systems transfer to Ukraine after missile incident near Prime Minister. Greece is considering transferring its S-300 air defense systems to Ukraine, especially after the missile strike by the Russian Federation on Odessa during the visit of Prime Minister Kyriakos Mitsotakis reported army recognition. Greece is reconsidering the issue of supplying its Russian-made S-300 and Tor M1 air defense systems to Ukraine after the Russian military strike near its prime minister during a visit to Ukraine. This reassessment marks a turning point after a Russian missile exploded just 500 meters away from the convoy carrying Greek Prime Minister Kyriakos Mitsotakis and Ukrainian Prime Minister Volodymyr Zelensky in Odessa, Ukraine on March 6, 2024, the material writes. Media reports indicate that such a possibility exists if Athens receives a more modern American MIM-104 Patriot system. The material states that Greece is also considering the possibility of transferring the OSA AKM air defense system to Ukraine. While the S-300 and Tor M1 systems are of great interest to Ukraine, as repeatedly stated by President Zelensky, Ukrainians consider the OSA system outdated. Last summer, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky visited Greece. During his visit, he announced that Athens would train Ukrainian pilots on F-16 fighter jets. The head of state also stated that Ukraine counted on Greek air defense systems in the Black Sea. It was later reported that Greece would halt funding for support and maintenance programs for Soviet-era air defense systems as they could be transferred to Ukraine in the future. And it became known that Greece prepares to supply Ukraine with a new batch of military aid. This includes aviation missiles, 
artillery pieces and ammunition. Greek officials claim that it is precisely ammunition that Ukraine needs the most and that their proposal will help meet the needs of Ukrainians. Greece has informed EU officials responsible for coordinating assistance to Ukraine that they could provide the following aid through Chechia this year. 2,000 Zuni rockets, 180 rockets successfully used by Ukraine in anti-tank warfare and listed high on Ukraine's requests, 90,000 90 mm shells used in anti-tank warfare and air defense, 4 million bullets, 70 M114, 155 mm howitzers of American production.